allowed to decide um, how each group was going to work. And then another thing that came up in that first discussion is how often do you think we should meet? Or how would you like to have this work, this working group work? Uh, well, how about tricks of the trade? I mean, you talked about overcoming the obstacle of being used to a hierarchy and, and mm -hmm. having someone, expecting someone to give assignments and, and to lead. But for the groups that are expected to be more organic or equal, how do you get people to step up and take ownership and so it doesn't all come back to you? Just for that. I don't know what it is about PR, but I feel like it's naturally been exciting for them. I don't know if it's because it's just a new subject that we've been sort of addressing for the first time openly. But it's been very natural. I don't feel like I've had to sort of prod them to talk about it. They get, they jump on it because it's something that affects them directly, even to the point where it affects financial sustainability. How we're perceived in Central America will affect our funding opportunities. And it's actually come up. So people are concerned about the subject enough that they want to talk about it. Um, if I had a subject that wasn't so exciting or interesting, I don't know. I don't... Well, the, uh, in the groups that I've been a part of, there's been lots of ideas thrown out there. People are excited, but it's it, it always comes back to the follow-up and who right. who takes ownership. And usually, unless there is a clear person that is more senior to others mm -hmm. and gives assignments, it falls back to the person. Yeah, who's which seems like what's been going on with admin and finance. I think something that sort of helped them sort of make sure that this manual works is the fact that it's part of their MBOs, and it it has gone back to someone that has to say, okay, you're going to work on this. You're going to work on this, and you're going to work on this, because then things will have the tendencies to sort of fall apart. If it's left in the open, like, you know, wouldn't it be great if we developed a plan for this, and then everyone says, yeah, it's a great idea, and then, then who's going to be in charge? And then it goes back to the lead, who has to go back and write it or do it by him or herself. Do you do any type of promoting the successes and sharing throughout the platform? You know, this put together by so and so, or this was developed in a new initiative led by you know, to try to encourage others to step up? Not yet, but I think something that's worked for me is the fact that I've let each platform sort of highlight and make them feel good about what they do well. You know, for example, Nicaragua, I think you're doing really a really good job with your PR and NGOs. Would you like to talk about it? And then I remember how that, that PR lead felt mm -hmm. proud and, you know, this is my chance to sort of highlight what I'm doing well in my country. And I can't wait to tell everybody about it. It kind of gives them that opportunity. Yeah. And it's sort of giving everyone a, a turn with that. There was even a joke made at that first meeting because someone was saying, you know, hey, someone from another country was saying, hey, Nicaragua, how'd you do it? I mean, they even like you. How, how is it that the NGOs actually like you? And then it's just sort of an icebreaker for people feel comfortable and that gives someone the chance to feel like I get to highlight in this space what I do well. Um, and then it gets documented as well. So it goes into those, those call notes. And when I send them out, I get feedback immediately. Someone, um, someone, our, our strategic services director wrote back to everyone saying, Nicaragua is doing this well. How do we highlight this at other levels? Or they're doing a good job with this. How do we sort of document it in a way that it will help other people and other platforms as well? Do you think it, it, it's important for a working group leader to have authority? That is, that the authority to, to assign things or to be able to call upon a supervisor to, to have them assign things? I think it helps. I think it helps and sometimes there's the whole saying that you, I think there's a saying in Spanish about, you know, you don't demand respect, you, or, you earn it. So at the same time, like in that first meeting, being able to tell the group, uh, this, how would you like this to happen? And then people turning to you and say, I think you're a good leader. I want you to. I want you to lead this. I want to report to you. Or, I think it helps because, and then also the fact that it's in the MBOs and it's something that you you have to do, and that sort of pushed that on the platforms that you know this is something that you have to do, but it's sort of in their mind. They know that it's something that they have to do. Do, do does Barry or, or uh, Judy or someone else send out a note from time to time, um, to praising the, the working group leaders or? Well, I, I've gotten good feedback from them, maybe not like praise directly, but I know that they're reading my notes because they'll discuss it and they'll copy me or say, or thanks for sharing this. This brings up a good discussion that we need to have. Um, Are you sharing that with the other working group members then? Or? 
the, the notes I will send out no, to the... No, this, 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 uh... Oh, no, no. This symbol of authority and, and, and uh, that, the, that the leaders are engaged and they are uh, tracking and supervising. No, I haven't, but I, I, Barry and Judy will remind us that they, they think our working groups are important. They want to know what's going on with them. Mm -hmm. So they'll check in on us and then, then we know that we have to, you know, make sure that we're following up and we're doing this regularly. But no, I think, um, no, not yet. But I think that the platforms have felt, felt the benefit of the working group to the point where they know they're participating in something that's productive or useful. If not, I think they'd sort of just fizzle out or not participate if they didn't think it was useful. Um, but no, I think that's a good suggestion to show them that, hey, this is working. You know, people appreciate what we're doing. I just had an extra comment. Um, 